Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at Sony's new Tablet S. In this episode, we're going to talk about the e-reader application on the Tablet S. Now, one of the really nice things about this particular tablet is Sony's background in the consumer electronics space and their ability to capitalize on the other things they do in that space. For example, we have the e-book reader here on the tablet. Now, of course, Sony already has a line of e-readers that use electronic ink. Because of that, they also created their very own ebook store with a lot of bestsellers and other titles in there that you can actually download for use on those ebook readers. Now, of course, tablets are good for ebook reading because of the size of their screen. And all of the other tablets that are out there have had some sort of way of reading ebooks, including a Kindle application, Kobo application, or in the case of the iPad, the iBooks application. Now, if you already have one of Sony's ebook readers, you can use the account you created for use with that, with the Tablet S as well, and the e reader application. Now the app is called Reader and it should already be on one of the tablet's main screens. You can also get to it by tapping on Apps and scrolling down to Reader. When it launches you'll see a control panel for the application and it'll put you on featured books. This will list books you already have in your library if you have an account, recommendations for new books you can get, and things that you've recently read. You can tap on the tab that says My Books to see all the books that are already in your library. If you don't have any yet or you want more, you can tap on the Store. This will take you into a browser that goes to Sony's ebook store. You can use the search at the top to search for specific books or authors, but you can also filter by subject or by categories like bestsellers, magazines, or specials. Tap on any of these items to go through, and then you can tap on a book if you want to see more information on it. Once you've found an item that you want to buy, you can hit Add to Cart to place the item in your cart. If you want to, you can continue shopping from this point and add a few more titles, or you can go to the cart at the top to check out. Verify that the information here is correct and then hit check out to buy the titles. Of course, if you don't have an account yet with Sony's ebook store, you can set that up here and set up all the information you need to proceed, like your credit card, your address, etc. Once you've purchased a title, you'll go back to the reader application and then it'll appear in your My Books tab. Tap on the book to open it and start reading. Now there's two different ways you can read a book, in portrait mode or landscape mode. There's a good chance you'll want to read in portrait mode, but in landscape mode you do have two different pages displayed on there if you set it up that way. You can swipe your finger across the screen to change pages, or you can tap on the page to switch. Now you can tap on the screen to reveal other controls, like a scroll bar at the bottom that allow you to quickly scroll to another part of the book. Note that it can be difficult to actually get to this because sometimes when you tap on the screen it will just change the page on you. At the bottom of this menu screen there's also a toolbox that will give you the ability to change your screen brightness, the font size if you want a bigger text, and the way the pagination works on it if you're in two-page mode. When you're reading, you also have the ability to highlight sections of the book by dragging your finger across the text you want to highlight. Then when you release, choose Highlight. At any point, you can bookmark a page by tapping in the top corner. If you're in portrait mode, tap on the top right. If you're in landscape mode, tap on the top right on the right-hand page and tap on the top left on the left-hand page. When you're in the menu system, you can also tap on the icon with the rightward facing arrow to show you other ways to navigate the book. That includes the table of contents, plus it gives you the ability to see your highlights and the bookmarks and then go straight to them. Well, that's a look at the reader application on the Sony Tablet S. For more information on the Sony Tablet S, don't forget to check out the other parts in this series. And you see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at Butterscotch.com.